pick. Uh, I'm doing it here. Uh, oh, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Our next guest has a passion for hairstyling, uh, who prides herself on uh, making every client feel like a, a VIP with the B O B L W E. Here we go, y'all. And joining us to share her work, we have uh, Shamika Lady Shaw, Lady Shaw Williams, and uh, hair model Lavara Bennett of uh, Barnett. Give her a big round of applause, everybody. Uh, can I start off with doing that here first? I can put this down like this, and I can just. If you would like. What do we do first? Well, for starters, she's natural, so she's uh -huh. one of my natural clients. Um, oh, all natural. Yeah, yeah. All natural, <laughs> and Lavara has come a long way. She, uh -huh. her hair has been very damaged. When she started coming to me, maybe like five or six years ago, her hair was like pretty choppy, and it was way shorter than this. You fixed it up. Fixed it up, nurture her back to where she wanted to be. Uh -huh. And now, this is the lovely aftertake. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so on her right side, she's fully natural. Uh -huh. No chemical. She has no chemical in her hair whatsoever. She has no keratin, no relaxer, no anything. <laughs> <laughs> and here, on her left side, she's uh -huh. fully silked out. So some people, they think if you have natural hair, your hair can't be nice and flowy oh, and okay. silk. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to show everybody that you can be natural without having you know, chemicals in your hair. You can actually uh, be natural and have healthy, full hair. I like that. So how did you do that? Well, basically what I did was I shampooed her. Uh -huh. And after I shampooed her with natural shampoos, I used a nice, you know, conditioner. Then after that, I steamed her. Steaming is the best for natural hair. You must steam the hair. That way all uh -huh. of the oils could get into the cuticle, into the cortex of the hair, and it makes it, you know, easier for it, it to be It moisturizes the scalp and everything, yes. right? Yes, yes. What do you do for, like, a dry scalp? Somebody comes in, my hair is, like, my scalp is dry, hair is dry. Well, if your scalp is hair dry, looks dull. yeah, you need to exfoliate, just like your face. So when you're cleansing your face in the morning, they have exfoliators for your scalp as well. That's very important. So you exfoliate your scalp, get a nice steam in there. When you wash your hair, scrub it really, really good. Just rinse that stuff out. And air is also important. How about for your back scalp? in the days where you sit in between somebody's leg and they scratch your hair with the comb <laughs> and you get it all out? That's exfoliating? Yes. Th that's another way to exfoliate too. Uh -huh. You want to get all of that dry scalp and that dry dead skin off of your scalp, release it. So that way when you do wash it, it'll just fall right into the sink. And your hair, your yes. hair will go like this. <laughs> I'm glad you did that. <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. Just like with our bodies and our faces, your scalp has to be clean too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you want healthy hair, that's the way to start. So how did you get started? And tell us some of the things that you're doing in the community. Well, how I got started was um, this actually wasn't my plan to do this, but I was in a fatal car accident and I was on the verge of losing my arm. So I said, if God give me the ability to use my arm back, I'm just going full force. And I never turned back. I've been doing hair ever since. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, I started doing like local charity events and church and in the community, you know, helping people get their hair back. Right now I'm working with cancer patients, making wigs, making mm -hmm. wigs for alopecia clients. And I just, I love hair Any and everything about hair. I and love I, it. And you've been doing it for some time now. Yeah, I've been doing it now for 11 years. Mm -hmm. 11 years. And you've been going to it for how long? Um, I'll say about six years. Oh, you don't years. have a mic. She don't have I a mic. Don't. I'm so <laughs> yes. you, you can say it. Yeah, she's been going to me for six years. She's been coming to me for six uh, years. She's oh, been we heard you look. Yeah. <laughs> what <is> six. It? <laughs> yeah, she's been a client for six years. That's and good, I'm, that's good. I mean, I wish I had before pictures, but this her outcome is amazing. Like, even she's surprised. Her mom even, she even says to me, you sure that's my daughter's hair? I think she's lying. And I said, yeah, this is her hair. I've been doing her hair for a while, and it's back. It's Your mom back. is going to sit in your chair, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you Absolutely. tell your friends about her? Yes, of course. I'm sorry, I'm interviewing you without a microphone. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, she <laughs> recommends a lot of clientele to me. I have a lot of her friends, family that come to me, and it's just uh -huh. like a word of mouth, especially like in the community. My salon is located in the um, Westchester Square part of the Bronx. It's called the Sanctuary Salon. And mm. just the word of mouth, like my, bin my business has expanded tremendously. There you go. How'd you come up with Sanctuary Salon? Well, I am a church girl. I go to church. Uh -oh. And when you think of you the sing word. The choir? Yes, I do. <laughs> but when you think of the sanctuary, you just think of a calm, cool place. <laughs> so I figured I wanted my salon to be different. You know, everybody think about a salon or a barbershop, and it's like, oh, that loud, rah rah place where all uh -huh. the gossip goes on. <laughs> no, when you come in there, you just feel at home. You feel comfortable. Sometimes my clients come there, and I'm like, I'm finished. You can leave now. And they're like, girl, it's so comfortable in here. But you, you will experience a whole lot sitting in the salon or the barbershop. <laughs> yeah, like, you will. Whoa. 
That's what, oh, he did what? She what? Yeah. She goes with who? No. <laughs> <laughs> but in the sanctuary, it's just a place where you could come, relax, yeah, let yeah. your hair down, or if you don't have any hair, come receive hair. And just feel relaxed and forget about everything that's going on around you. You do extensions and everything? Everything. What? I do extensions. I make wigs as well. I have my own hairline. Yes. Wait, you're a wig maker? Yes. All in that same sanctuary? All area? in the same sanctuary. Yep. Look at that. I give hair to the hairless. That's, that's the way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> Giving hair to the hairless. So yeah. somebody that wants hair. You've been bald headed for a long time. Um, guys, too, right? Yeah, guys, too. Anyone I just started doing man weaves. All right. Yeah. But how do you put hair into a. What? Into put it on your head? head? Well, that's the secret. Oh, you put it on the wig? I could either put it on the wig or I could put it on your head, but it's a special way. You have to come into the sanctuary to see. We may do that. Can we bring cameras? Absolutely. All Absolutely. Right. Cool. All right. Um, they just told me to talk about the color. Okay. You do the coloring also. Well, yes, I do do fantasy color. That's something that's very big right now is fantasy color. LaVar, her hair, her hair is natural. Mm -hmm. No color, no nothing. But I do a lot of coloring as well. So any color you want out of the rainbow, you could get in your hair. Yeah. And it could be nice and smooth still. No breakage, no nothing, no damage. How often should people change the color in their hair? I would say every couple of months, maybe two to three months. Because it not can't too break often. off if you mess with it too much. Yes, though. if it's not done properly and if it's lifted too much. So you have to know what the person's hair can take. So you want to lift it gradually, not yeah. all at once. I was sitting at a table uh, and people were talking about, oh, honey, don't go to such and such because, you know, your <laughs> clumps of hair, will you, you look for your hair to be all on the floor. No, not at the sanctuary. <laughs> your hair is on the floor unless you want it on the floor. You get it cut the way you want. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's good. Yes. Okay, where can we go to get the more information? On you? More information, you could go to www.hairbyladyshaw.com. That's the website for the sanctuary salon. And the address to the salon is 2706 East Tremont in the Westchester Square section of the Bronx. Hairbyladyshaw.com. Look, can I do it? Sure, you can touch Where's it. Where's the tools? Give me the tools. <laughs> Oh, we don't have no combs on us right now. <laughs> you blow dry it and all that stuff? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. You get massages and all that stuff? No. Oh, you have the chair that gives a shake? I stay in my lane. I just do <laughs> stuff to hair. <laughs> I stay in Thank my lane. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Thank you. Where do we go again? The Sanctuary Salon, 2706 East Tremont. Thank you. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with more next.